It feels so good to get a new airplane, and we've got the new improved Commander. And one of my favorite features is the bottom of the plane. Doesn't that look amazing, that checkered pattern? Now, if you're new to the hobby and you missed out on the first red Commander, yeah, that's a nice looking airplane. And you're not sure what the improvements are, the biggest difference is the fact that this one runs 4S out of the box, 3S or 4S. I'm guessing the old one didn't run 4S. That's right, it was 3S only. <laughs> Just and clear. we have improved electronics in here which will allow telemetry back to the radio, which is so nice. Now we know as we're flying when the battery is low and we know when to come in for a landing. Check this out. I love the canopy design on this. You just slide it back and there's tons of room in there, though the recommended battery size is a 2200 milliamp battery. That's good news because that's one of the more affordable batteries on the market. We're gonna maiden this plane today so you guys can see what to expect on an actual maiden flight. What a pretty plane, Abby. We've got aileron control, of course, rudder, elevator in the back, and yes, this plane does have flaps. I need to probably slow mine down a little bit, but we're ready for takeoff. I am in safe just for this maiden flight. Let's go. Whew. <laughs> that tail picked up and it, the wheels were still on the ground and it kind of threw me off for a second. Now this is a very unique looking plane compared to a lot of planes we have. I love how the main wing has like a ribbed look to it. It's easier to see at certain angles, but it just looks great. This looks really good in the air. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need some up trim. I noticed it on the ground, it was very close. I might even have to do that manually. That's just where my push rod linkage was set. So just a heads up, you guys might need to back yours out just a little bit too when you get it, but that's kind of the point of a maiden flight to get a feel for how, uh, how it's, the tendencies are on the first flight. Abby, I feel pretty good. We're gonna do a full throttle pass then kick it out of safe very shortly after. Here's full throttle on 4S. Let's go out of safe. Oh yeah, this is climbing very nicely. Beautiful plane, beautiful. I love that roll rate. That was just a little bit of input. Now again, we're out of safe. Let's go in for a nice roll. And let's go for a tight roll on the left hand. Yeah, okay, that was really good. So that was full input on that left roll. We'll do a couple more rolls over here, do some loops and then try to do even more maneuvers after that. There's a right roll, that was full input full input left. Let's go climbing it and snap it up here. Oh, that snap is really nice. Oh, I like that. That was very scale looking. Let's go right into a loop. Now, I could have made that a little prettier. We'll just clean it up one more time out here. Nice wide loop. Kill that throttle. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I need just a little bit of my, my elevator push rod needs backed out some just so I don't have to Put, I'm, I'm maintaining up elevator this whole flight, uh, but that's okay. If I let go of that, it is gonna nose down. Just a hair, just a hair. So I definitely need to adjust that and I will, but it's not enough to ruin my flight. So we'll just keep going and having some fun. Let's do a snap right here at this angle. Wow. That was really nice. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> Now, because I'm maintaining a little bit of up elevator, it's nosing down, we should be able to climb, uh, fly inverted very easily right now. Yep, in fact, because of, because of my elevator situation, it's actually wanting to climb some inverted. So at about 50% throttle, it's, it, it right now needs no up elevator to maintain inverted flight and all. That is so cool. Look at that, Abby. That is nice. It's impressive. Oh, that's nice. That's a good inverted flying airplane. I'm really surprised. I did not expect that at all. Doing a nice figure eight out here, figure eight flight pattern while inverted. Low enough to the ground that if I panicked, I, I could roll out of it, but I probably couldn't uh, save it if the plane started nosing down. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> not having to give it too much juice. Let's see if we can bring it in kind of low, lower inverted pass possibly. A little bit of a tight curve out there. Don't want to have a wingtip stall while inverted. Okay, and that is funky feeling to give your airplane Oh my gosh, up you elevator. are so low. <laughs> and low throttle too. <laughs> so let's see if we can climb out of this with an outside loop. A lot of confidence here. Absolutely. So let's go into a nice Cuban 8. 
Guys, I'm flying on some really old first generation uh, Spectrum Smart batteries. This probably has hundreds of flights on it. I don't know what happened to my Cuban 8 out there. Let's try that again. <laughs> Roll out of that. This is kind of an aggressive Cuban 8. Someone told me that when I do my Cuban 8s, I, uh, uh, when I end it, I end it too high. I think I tried to do it a little lower that time. Um, that beep we heard, I think, is telling me we've been in the air for four minutes. And, Sounds right. Yep, yeah, okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Got a little don't do low. that to me. <laughs> Going for a show pass on this next pass. I was trying to get low to the ground there, but I got a little too low to the ground there, just about. Okay, let's go for a pretty show pass. A little rudder input. I think right you need over to the show hill. off the nice. bottom. Oh, now that would be, a, that would be, yeah, I wish I could do that. <laughs> you don't I know I wish how? I could do a show pass. For the bottom? Well, you know what? Just tip it the other way. Okay, hold on. Act like you're standing there. on the other side of the okay, field. There we go. There was your show pass the other way. Let's try that again. That's a fun challenge. <laughs> Show I mean, the, bottom of the, the bottom of the plane is the cool looking know, part, in my opinion. So, obviously, I can do it this way pretty confidently. Still so, do not, the, same the, the same hand and everything. I know it. I know it. Going know this it. way. I know it. It's so hard. <laughs> it's messing with my head. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit higher, though, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, show pass! <laughs> show pass diving! <laughs> you are yeah. losing altitude. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna we're gonna push this battery to its limits. We definitely want to get a low voltage alarm while we're out here. Now there's full throttle and rolling at full throttle with that climb. And there I'm getting the vibration in my transmitter on that full throttle climb. Oh, oh that's pretty. <laughs> that always makes my heart zero go. Zero throttle, zero throttle. Taking throttle on. Now that was a full throttle climb, so we're gonna keep flying just a little bit longer to see where this battery is going to sit. I think we're going to get realistically, you know, five to maybe eight minute flight times unless we're really just putzing it around on a 2200 milliamp battery. Pretty good roll rate. This is just a nice, very scale, beautiful flyer. Doesn't that look good against those white clouds? Mm -hmm. That's nice. So I got the low voltage alarm vibration again. Um, what I want to do on this pass is see what it does with flaps. We're gonna go flaps on as soon as we get out of this bank and just see what it likes to do. Climb it crazy or what. There's full flaps. I just jarred them on really fast. We did not get a sharp nose up or anything like that. There's zero throttle, little bit of throttle. Don't wanna stall. We're very low because we don't know the stall tendencies of this yet. Flaps are back off. We'll do that one more time coming back the other way and probably bring it in for a landing. We don't want to hurt our batteries, so let's go. Full flaps. You saw a little bit of climb there, just a little bit. There's zero throttle. <laughs> Get back up there! <laughs> so Abby's camera just it's cut ridiculous. out. ridiculous. Uh, just on that landing, so let's give you guys one more landing. I thought it was it. fixed, you guys. Take off with flaps. Okay, ah. that's fine. We formatted that memory card, and apparently that did not quite fix it. So it did we yesterday. New memory card, I think. So let's shoot for another landing. I didn't really plan on landing it, but I just, it was working out. Nice approach. Let's see if we can do that again for you guys. A nice pretty landing. So sorry. Watch me just break it in half on this landing. <laughs> I'll take that. That was actually a little better than the first one. So <laughs> no, no, you know what? The one you missed was even better than that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This thing taxis really well. Look how sharp that's turning almost on a dime. I really like that a lot. Uh, what a beautiful plane. Look, you can see the checkered pattern underneath the wing on the flaps. You mm -hmm. see that? There you go. Taxi back in. Guys, this, this is a real winner of an airplane. What a beautiful plane and it flies so good. What a successful maiden this was. And I'm really thankful that nothing went wrong. It was probably as close to a perfect maiden as we could ask for. But every time I made a new airplane, I would not feel as confident and comfortable without AMA in my pocket. That's the Academy of Model Aeronautics. Now primarily, they're an insurance company if you've never heard of them before. And it's for the RC enthusiast, airplanes, big or small, helicopters, drones, and even RC cars and trucks, which is crazy. Most people don't know that. And it doesn't matter if you're flying at an AMA sanctioned field or not, believe it or not, you're covered with AMA no matter where you're flying. So if you'd like to be insured and take away that worry while you're maidening your new airplane, I highly encourage you check out AMA. They'll be linked in the description box below. Probably really hard to see, but our battery voltage is 3.75 volts per cell. 
Remember 3.8 volts per cell is where you want to be on a storage charge. So actually this is perfect. The voltage of airplanes, if you're not familiar with how they work, is while you're flying them, the voltage will sag down to a certain level. But after you land, that battery will actually kind of go back up maybe a tenth of a percentage or something like that. Uh, so at 3.75 volts per cell, it'll actually come back up to 3.8 volts or very close to it, maybe 3.78 volts per cell. I am very happy with that. That means I don't have to go home and put juice back in my batteries. I can just let it go. So if you're wondering, there is my absolute perfect recommendation for the center of gravity on the battery. It's really just right in the middle of those two Velcro straps right on the velcro that's already included on the airplane what a lot just a ton of room in there i love when i don't have to i have fairly large hands although i have you know skinny fingers but i still struggle on some airplanes to get batteries in and out of spaces and i don't on this one so that's another added bonus now what a great flight time we had too in fact i think that was just a really good amount of flight time if i wanted to push this to 15 maybe even 20 minutes i probably could if all i did was just leave it in safe fly up, maybe even cut the throttle and glide some. That's not necessarily what this airplane was meant to do, was to get record flight times or anything like that. I think eight minutes is a great flight time on a 2200 milliamp battery. And if you wanna know exactly what setup we're flying on, we'll have it linked in the description box below. This is just a beautiful airplane. And I will be flying this more on the channel, more in my own personal flying time. I really like this airplane. It'll fit in the trunk of most vehicles, especially small cars if you set those back seats down. I think they were smart to bring this back. And I really like that blue color scheme too. It looks good. I will say the red was probably a better choice because it pops in the sky a little bit more, but the blue looks great also. Now who is gonna complain about upgraded electronics going from a 3S limitation to now 4S capable with telemetry? No complaints from me. That is a very welcome addition to this airplane. And let's face it, with all these weird shipping issues we're seeing across the world right now, it's nice to see a new airplane that's actually in stock. Yeah, I did not get this a month before everyone else can get it or anything. This is currently available. It is shipping right now, linked in the description box below. And remember guys, when you use that link, it doesn't cost you a single extra penny, but it does help support me and Abby, our family and the YouTube channel, the videos that you're watching for free. If you enjoyed your time uh, watching this video, you gained anything from it, even just a little smile, click on that link to buy whatever RC thing you're into helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. On the subject of thanks, how can I not thank the one responsible for today? We thank God for getting us out to enjoy this hobby, but also just waking up and getting to enjoy another day of this wonderful life. We're so grateful. We're also thankful to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your support. So a massive thanks goes out to our Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. We'll have another amazing airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.